Okay, so children, so uh, this is a small revision video of how to write notice. Okay, so notice writing comes in your exams for say uh, three marks, and you are going to be awarded marks for uh, uh, your content. This heading. There is going to be marks for heading, say one mark, and uh, there is going to be marks for, um, uh, say, um, uh, you know, your uh, content, which is the content here. And there is going to be marks for how you end it, how you end uh, the notice, the ending part. So this is, this is how you are going to be uh, given the marks. Now let's see what all are the important features of the um, uh, of your uh, notice. First of all, is name of the organization or your uh, you know this is where you write your school name. Usually, the the things or the notice in the exams comes for school, so you have to write the name of the school. Then, no, first of all, I think we have to write the word notice in capital letters right so what do we write in caps we write the word notice this word notice in capital letters first thing right after that we write name of the organization then we come to date i told you date is also written in this format only like how what is the format what is the format for writing date it is going to be say uh, 3rd November, comma, 2020. This is the only way to write the date. You are not going to write any date anywhere. Like you write like this or this is wrong. This is not how we write dates. The date is only written in this format. This is the right format for writing date. Then, uh, Heading will come first, of course. I'm just giving you the titles that we have to include in the uh, notice. Now, the heading is one of them. What is the heading? Heading means, uh, like, what is the notice about? It can be in this debate. It can be about the uh, play. It can be about um, inter-school, uh, say, skits. It can be about many of the things. So, this is uh, the uh, heading. Then we come to body. Now, what is the body? Body is all the necessary information which we require in the notice. Now, what is uh, mostly required in the notice is why, where, when and for whom. So, again, why? Like, uh, why are you writing notice? Purpose of writing the notice. Then, when? Where? Like venue. Where will be the event held? When? This is day and date. And for whom? That is, is there any target audience? Target audience means are we um, writing it for class uh, 12th or 10th or 9th or 8th or, or anybody else or the whole school? Even if you are writing it for the whole school. So, this is uh, the body. And then you have to write in the end. In the end, we write name and designation. Children, no signatures are going to be added anywhere. No, no signatures are going to be. This is wrong. Writing signatures are wrong. So you just have to write name and then designation. Designation is the post of the person like who is writing. Right? Who is writing this? Notice. This is how you are going to write the notice. I'll show you now one very important thing which we always, I tell you also. If there is no mention, if there is no mention of name, what will you write? X, Y, Z or A, B, C. Don't write your school's name. I'm again saying don't don't write your schools again you see this this is very very important very important don't write your the name of the school don't write
if not given in the question instead of that what are you going to write only we are going to write only x y z or a b c nothing else you are going to write understand so this is the format the first is the word notice first is in children what have i told you bold letters next is name of the institution organization or school here you will write the name of the school because mostly you will get uh, the notices for school then the heading under heading what do we write what do we write here we write what is the notice about right then comes the date which is day date and again i am writing here say 3rd october comma 2020 full stop and after this a full stop right so this is how we write and then in the content here is the content what do we write in the content what do we write i have already told you what all do we include where when why for whom okay so where is what is where here when you where is the event going to be held when your date and time on which date and which time why why are you writing notice why are you writing this why are you drafting this uh this is for example why are you drafting this for uh, uh debate uh information for skit information for anything for anything and for whom it is the they it this can be given this cannot be given but you have to make it on your own the target audience understand so this is how we write uh, the notice now we come to actual notice adhere to one uh fifty words only what is that why do we uh, we have to adhere to fifty words only because that is the time uh, this word limit given more than this loses marks children you will lose marks if you write more than 50 words so write the word notice at the top then the name of the school then no this no then we will write this will come here okay after after name of school write date and then we will write heading in the next line heading in the next line okay so this is going to be written in the next line then we come to uh, date this date also this we have written okay the net next is the target group for whom the notice is to be written then why are you writing notice for whom are you writing see this this target audience do you see this target audience to target uh, this is whom then purpose purpose means why then relevant details date time when you this is again i told you when and where right and then for whom whom to contact for extra information i have already told you what to be write in in the end this line is always written always always written in the end of the please contact the and the signed for more information or or what do we write or we can write the line for more information 
contact the undersigned. Right? This is how we are going to write it. Now let's attempt an example. Imagine you are a member of Red Cross Blood Bank Society New Delhi. You have been asked by the president of the society uh, to organize a blood. See, this is the name of the person given who is organizing. Okay? And uh, you are writing. You are writing. Okay? So what do we write? You are the member of this society. So what do we write? We first write the word notice. Right? Then we write... What is, who is organizing? What is the institution? This is the name of the, I told you, this is the name of the institution, the one who is issuing the notice. Okay, this is the name of the, this is, now what is this? What is this? This is heading. Then comes, again see notice in capital Letters. I have, as I have been telling you, it is going to be written in capital letters. Then again, we write date, which I have already. Now, this two th is not written, children. It is not written. The date is going to be written like 29 June, comma 2000 XX. Yeah, fit 2020. Both are correct. Both ways are correct. So, a state level function to observe this, this, this being organized on this. Add this. So we have date and time. Uh, we have, this is the time, this is the date and this is the venue, right? Timings are also given. So you all are going to, now one uh, thing, if you see that it is less than 50, see I see this is less than 50 words. Purposely I am I writing this because this is less than 50 words. So to make it 50 words, what do we write? Now, if, I'll tell you here, okay? I'll, I'm writing here. If your notice falls uh, short of 50 words include chief guest. This is the best to do. Always. So if your notice is falling short of uh, 50 words, always use that there will be, uh, uh, you know, there will be a uh, 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 chief guest who will be coming to you and who will be writing, right? So here I'm going to write, if your notice falls short of